All right, to authorize the trend graph here, there's a very small step in My Designer. So go back to My Designer and go to the user option. So here we don't have any user, so you have to add a user. So you have to give a name, so I will give NFI, password. You have to enter the password, access group. And now here you can see your access group here. So I will select administrator. So I will change that to nine, okay? Email telephone number, if you want, you can add it here. So click on add. So now you have a NFI user with access group nine. So go back to trend. Now this trend has to be configured with authorization. So you will see here, view access level. Who should access this trend? Select that to administrator nine. Now this is to nine. So only people who has, who has the administrator level of nine can only view this, okay? So once you configure that, you have to just download this to your device and click on OK, go back to view. And this is going to unpack the new project. And in this case now, by default, you will not be logged in. So you'll be logged out. So this is this is the, this says you're logged out. This is the button for logging in. So now you can see that there's no trend view here. I can just control the inputs and outputs, but I cannot see the trend. So to see the trend, I will turn off the input, go back to here and enter your password and ID and password, which you created in your My Designer. Click OK. This is successfully logged in and you will see a trend here. Okay, now you can see your trends. So this is how you can authorize your screens as well. You can authorize, you can also make more screens here and you can authorize your screens as well. Okay, so if I logged out, I cannot see my trend anymore. So to authorize the screen, the same process, go to screen and give the authorized access in these properties. Okay, this is the view and this is the right. If you just want people to view it, you can authorize the right access. All right, this is pretty much easy. So this is a very good option. You can set your users and you can define the authorization level of those users. So I hope you enjoyed these videos and you have learned how to control and monitor your SCADA, your PLC processes in Scala screen very effectively in a very short duration of time. So if you have any doubts, you can write to me. And thank you for watching.